Hi there, this is gonna be a general love reading for the sign of Taurus. Happy birthday, Taurus. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Taurus. So this is gonna be for May 2020, but as always, you know, time is an illusion and energy is fluid. So this could have already happened. This may not happen till June. This may happen tomorrow. Okay, let's just see what spirit has in store for you guys. First card is moderation. Is there something you know you shouldn't be eating? Try to eat mindfully and healthily. Although the fairies say that a little bit of what you fancy is fine. Something tells me that could be not necessarily just food it's or alcohol. This could also be just things that you know are not good for you. And that could be a lot of different things, huh? You have wait for winter. During the colder months, the fairy queen of winter will help you manifest your most heartfelt wishes. As long as your intentions are for the highest good of all. We keep getting that, right? Protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking on any spiritual work. Very good advice. Last card is shine from within. Looks are only skin deep. True beauty shines from within and it's time for you to shine. This is a time for self-acceptance and for revealing your true beauty. All right, let's get right into it. We are going to be using for you guys the Light Seers deck. And again, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the Cross Watcher of the Taurus. I can't believe it's Taurus season already. It just feels like it was just yesterday it was my season. Aquarius season. Nine of Wands. And the Moon. Afraid to fall in love is what I just heard. The Moon can be Pisces. See how she's submerged in the water. That's one thing, y'all. But then you also have this nine of wands and look at her. She's kind of like, who goes there? What do you want? Stay away. Leave me alone. It's wounded warrior energy. The moon is a gorgeous card because it talks about the subconscious. It talks about intuition. But this just feels to me like somebody that is completely submerged in emotions. Someone's afraid to, they're afraid to fall in love. And I don't know if that's you that's afraid to fall in love or your cross watcher. Someone's afraid to fall in love. The hanged man. They refuse. A hanged man's like a stalemate. It's a pause. It can also sometimes be a change of perspective, right? So eventually, do I think that they'll have a change of perspective? Yes. But in the meantime, what they're doing is they're saying, I'm not going to fall. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do nothing. They're free to fall in love. They're free to get into their emotions. Five of Swords, self-sabotage. Overthinking it, analyzing it, ruining it. Someone here is just afraid to... The Emperor, they're afraid to lose control. The Emperor is all about control. Emperor can be an Aries energy. But they're afraid to lose control. They always want to be... They don't want, it's like somebody here is afraid of the unpredictable or the unknown. But see, that's the great thing about love is sometimes it is the great deep unknown. It's kind of like the Pisces card where she's in the water. It's kind of like submerging into the great deep unknown. The emperor may not want to. The star, the North Star. Actually, this feels to me like it's a wish. It's Aquarius energy also, but it feels like it's a wish. Like somebody's wish is getting closer and closer and closer. Like their hands are right on it. Like they're touching it. It's one thing to ask. It's a whole nother to receive. Somebody here is like, they're afraid to fall in love. It's like, they're afraid it'll be unrequited. Or maybe it's because it was unrequited in the past. See, four of pentacles, stuck, hanging on, holding tight. It's, it, they're, they're, that's what it is it's just four of pentacles is not moving not budging not opening up this person doesn't want to open up for fear it's it's almost like a fear of just losing control it's not necessarily a fear of they don't love me or they may not love me it's almost like 
I'm protecting myself, look at this person, in a damn protective bubble. I'm protecting myself so I don't fall. It's something about you. Because if you have worries about the other person, it feels to me like the other person is like, what would they want to go? They want to do it. Look, Ten of Pentacles, they want to commit. Oh, something's under it. Look, Ten of Pentacles, let's do it. Long term, commitment. Knight of Pentacles, slow ass, sloth, stalemate. So who's who? Fit the pieces where they belong, yeah? Somebody wants to move slow, if not at all. The other person wants to just go all in. They want to commit totally. Ace of Pentacles. They want to commit totally. This is something that is tangible, that could grow into something. This is like the small mustard seed that grows into something huge. But you have to be willing to plant the seed, water the seed. Something about the shine from within card over here too is really calling me. And it's you see how she's in the bubble and she has like that heart chakra or could be solar chakra area lit up as solar. Her solar chakra area is lit up here. Five of Wands, fighting with oneself. Seven of Swords, deception. Afraid? It's almost like someone's afraid to be wrong. Or they're afraid that what is on the surface is not really what it is. Because the Seven of Swords can be about deception, yeah, deceptive behavior or trying to get away with something. Hate to tell you, but you can't get away from feeling this if it's, you can't. Now, for some of you, this could be battling addictions or toxic things. Maybe it's a devil, a devil deck. You know what I'm saying? Like, how long we say you've got to stop fucking around with that person? They're giving you crumbs. It's third party. Did that. The Two of Cups exists out there. It does exist for you. It's there. It's out there. The moderation thing here, like I said, I felt like it was more than just food and alcohol, right? This can actually be, like, people. Maybe only entertaining people that you know damn well is not going to reel you in emotionally. And then like and then like finding someone that reels you in emotionally and then it's like it's freaked out. Kang Dangalang, speaking of deck. Arzeal Sag. He is a go-getter. It's a hustler. Whoo! The lovers. Gemini energy. I told you I feel there's a strong connection here. You can deny it all you want. Maybe, maybe if you say, actually, this doesn't even feel like it's crumbs. If it's a crummy thing or like doo-doo or like third party, it's a hell no, obviously, right? Wouldn't even consider it. This doesn't feel like it. This feels like it's somebody here that is super attractive. Like you cross off all of the things off your list and then it's kind of like when it comes to it, you go, well, I'm not going to take it seriously. Well, I'm not going to fall in love. This is the lovers is a very strong sexual connection between two people. Sexual. Two of pentacles. She doesn't know what she wants. Oh, <gasps> with the five of pentacles. See, she's outside the door. But the fucked up thing is, is she has a key right there. See that? She has a key right there. She just refuses to open the door. Afraid. Afraid to go inside. She's, she doesn't know. She's deciding. Two of pentacles. I don't know if I... What if the dream is better than the reality of it? What if what I think in my head is much better than the actual reality? It's almost like afraid to see if reality is going to be... Good. Or something. Like... The high priestess, see? The unknown. Maybe the unknown is going to be crap. Maybe the unknown is going to be shit. Maybe it's just the dream is better. Maybe it's just an illusion. Maybe it's just, just my imagination once again. The world is completion of a huge, huge life cycle. Success. The world is omega, which would be the end. Completion, right? Mm, mm, mm. King of Swords. 
Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy here, and then you have the Seven of Cups. So you have not sure, having to choose, I don't know, let me see, let me feel it out, blah, blah, blah. it's indecision possibly for some. Seven of Cups is options and maybe even confusion. And then you have the King of Swords who's not confused. The King of Swords is very logical, knows what they want, makes a decision. Five of Cups. Focused on the wrong thing. Someone here is focused on, but what if? You ever heard the, you ever heard the, the quote, what if I fall? Oh, but my darling, what if you fly? It's like this. It's like someone saying, but what if I fall? And then the person saying, well, then fly. And then, or, or I'll catch you. It's like, why are you worrying about falling? Why are you so worried about the fall? Someone here is really worried about the fall. See, four of wands, bottom of the deck. Celebrations. Freedom. Someone could be worried about giving up their freedom. They think that that's how it's going to be. They think it's going to be attachment. They're afraid if I open Pandora's box, I don't, I'm afraid of what's behind it. It's almost like that energy, the best way I can describe it. Somebody here is really worried about Pandora's box. I, it's an unknown because it just is unknown because not everything will we be privy to know ahead of time. Some things are meant to be experienced, right? To know ahead of time, it takes the fun out of opening a present or a gift. This is Pandora's box. And I have a feeling it's not terrible. But someone here is just kind of nervous about opening it up to see what's within, see what's going on. Page of Cups. It's like, is it too good to be true? Look up there, pigs flying when pigs fly. In the ethers, I'm telling you, this is where somebody thinks maybe the dream of it, the illusion of it, the, my imagination is better than the actual reality. Maybe I'd rather have this this dream in my head than make it reality because what if we get together? Or what if I take take the job and it sucks ass? Maybe the, the reality is shit. The Knight of Swords. There's some kind of quick response. Somebody, it's urgent. There's an urgency. Eight of Swords, trapped. See, look, it's all mental entrapment too. Self-sabotage kind of an energy with the Eight of Swords. It's all here trapped. It's not trapped, it's an illusion. There's some kind of an urgent message happening here somehow. There's urgency, whether the response is or needs urgency or the way it comes across. I don't know. You have strength here, Leo energy. <sighs> Having the strength to take the key that's sitting right in front of your face, opening the door and seeing what's in it. Obviously, if your gut tells you it's crap, I'm going to get hurt, it's shit, then you wouldn't do it. Obviously, right? We, we, we would trust our intuition but if your intuition ain't saying shit like that and it's just you worried about the unknown because you want to be like the emperor and be in control of it then come on you've compromised right you got to compromise it's a giving and taking you have big happy changes like there is tremendous change down the road but do you think change will happen if you sit like this no you'll be at a stalemate open Pandora's box sometimes you have to roll the dice sometimes you have to roll the dice you get some Lenormand oh give me one second please and then we're gonna do the extended version see the bouquet shit mm 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 Gifts, I told you it's like opening a gift. Abundance, friendship, joy, peace, happiness, love, healing, improvement, wishes, beauty, charm, good fortune, acknowledgement, a wish come true or a gift received. I told you it's a gift. And it's it's the reason that they don't want you to know what it is is because just like a gift, it'll ruin the surprise. Like, duh. But of course, we're nosy asses. So if you would like to see what goes on in the extended, I'm going to try to do a second spread with a whole different deck 
just to try and see if we can tap into what is inside of Pandora's box if they will allow us. So click on the link below to purchase that reading. Um, I want to thank all of you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, xi underscore missy underscore xi. And also, if you want to book a reading with me, please check the description box below first before you email me. And when you email me, please put it in the title of the email which reading you want because depending on the reading, the price will vary, okay? So I'll see you guys in the extended. Love you.